What's going on? Mitch here from the OmniBuddy channel, dropping by to do an overview of the Diamond Jubilee edition of Scrooge McDuck, Uncle Scrooge. Really excited to crack this open. Let's check it out. All right, so here is the front of the Uncle Scrooge Diamond Jubilee collection. Uh, just to give you an idea of the scale of this, I know I kind of showed it a little bit earlier, but here is the Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck slipcase right here. Uh, so you can kind of see it's obviously a lot bigger and you know on width and height. Uh, and then this also is a slip case. So, you know, it's got a little extra height on there from the slip case. And, but here you go. So this one's more like black and gold. This one's uh, more money colored. So that green and uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, off white, light green, I don't know, whatever. Color of US money, I guess is what we could call it. It's a sweet description anyways. Uh, so this is uh, also, let's get this out of the way. Um, so this is also a collection of um, different Scrooge stories. This is celebrating the 75th anniversary of Uncle Scrooge and his uh, kind of being brought to life and brought into the world. And so this collects, this is uh, 384 pages. It was, uh, here's the spine. It was, uh, it's uh, published by Fanographics and they did the Life and Times that I showed earlier too. There's the back, uh, retails for $100 MSRP, USD. Uh, obviously you can get that cheaper through organic price books. So make sure to check it out there and use code OmniBuddy if you want to get a little bit cheaper too and support my channel. Uh, anyways, let's crack this open. It has really glorious end sheets. I am, I personally am just a huge sucker for end sheets and end paper. So it's not just, you know, black or green, but if they can make some awesome art out of that, I absolutely love it so let's see what the other one looks like it's the same i appreciate when they change it up but you know what this is pretty cool it's kind of like that old school wallpaper look and uh looks really nice and let's cut this get this open uh just so you know the dimensions of this book are 10 inches by 13.6 inches so there you have it those are the actual uh dimensions from fanographics uh so you open this up, you know, Uncle Scrooge, and then you have uh, the publisher page and all that, and then uh, by Fanographics in Seattle, Washington, woo, west side, west, west coast, that's right, in my neck of the woods near Seattle, uh, and then we have uh, the table of contents, so this is a collection, uh, it's not like a, I mean, it's like chronological, yes, but it's not a whole bunch of stories in a row. It's a selection of stories to highlight uh, all the different things from uh, from his stories throughout the years. So that's that's pretty cool what they did with that. Um, and this is so it's all the Carl Barks's stories, a bunch of them. And then what's really cool, they got a really nice forward in here, looking really nice. And then each story section has its uh, has in the, the cover on it, which is cool. Uh, some really nice decorative art around it, which is awesome. And then, uh, yeah. So then you get into, I mean, the vast majority of this book is the stories, which I really appreciate. And man, these stories are just so cool to see again, man, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh, they're so cute. They're so awesome. And going on adventures with, you know, Donald and Uncle Scrooge and all of them through all these, you know, crazy times and, you know, with their bajillionaire crazy uncle. And then at the end of each section, each main story, they have like an about and uh, does it all right there. So there's not, at the end of the book, there isn't a huge, there really isn't any extras because the extras are buried within the book, which I actually really appreciate. I mean, I don't mind if they have like an art section or some other stuff at the end. That's totally fine. But if it relates to the story, I like when they include it within the book, even if it's a chronological 
uh, like omnibus or typical, you know, like Marvel, DC, whatever omnibus as it goes to the issues. I like to have that little bit of pause between each issue um, and see the uh, stuff pertinent to that specific issue right there. So I love, love that they did that. Here we got some sweet holiday stuff. Holidays are coming up. This book would be great as a holiday gift. It's probably not too late. You're cutting it close for the holidays if you're wanting to pick this up for yourself or a friend. But man, look at this art. It is just, let's get that focused. Come on, there we go. It is just gorgeous coloring and lines. They had to have done some restoration to this, but it just looks just like my childhood coming back to life. The color, like I'm not seeing any distortion or funky colors or anything like that. It all looks so good, so original. I mean, I don't have the originals to read and to compare it to or anything like that, but at just, you know, first sight and first look through all oh, this, I've looked through this, gone through this multiple times now, um, but it, it doesn't, and nothing looks odd to me that I've spotted. Uh, all the coloring and shading looks perfect. All the lines look just gorgeous. Nothing looks, you know, digitized or uh, pixelated or anything like that. These covers are just so, so nice looking. I love them. Just, yeah, the stone that turns all metals to gold. Seems like something Scrooge would be into. Uh, yeah. So really nice book, really gorgeous. Like I said, 384 pages with most of it, the vast majority of it being actual story. You know, like there's a page or two here or there that's in about, but then it goes, you know, title page and boom, we're back into it. It is really nice. Uh, they did not spare any expense here. We're in the middle of the book here, almost here. Let's go back to the middle of the book about, there we go. And that's not the middle of the book at all. I don't know what's going on with me. Let's get to the middle. And it's got a decent little eye hole in there. So uh, it lays relatively flat, which is nice. I can get that down. I've stretched this once or twice. Um, if you're interested in a, how to stretch a new book, uh, so it doesn't fall apart on you. I have a book. I have a video on that It was actually one of my very first videos on my channel. So you can check that out and uh, Yeah, and it's got a great little I forgot to show this Come on. Come on out of there fella. There we go Got a great ribbon. I love when they match the ribbon to the look of the book Sometimes they just toss a black ribbon in there and it doesn't look good or a red ribbon You're like that's out of place. That doesn't look that doesn't look right so I love when they match it and that definitely, definitely matches. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna flip through every single page in here because you really get the idea and it's, it's gorgeous. It's a great book. I'm so excited to be able to sit down and let my kids read this and go through it with them. My eight year old daughter loves Calvin and Hobbes. I'm so excited for her to be able to read some uh, Uncle Scrooge and you know, Louie, Dewey and or Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Uh, can't say all three of their names if I don't say them in the correct order, otherwise I'm not gonna get it. Uh, or uh, my previous video on the peanuts. Cannot wait. Uh, I still need to pick up like that really nice hardcover slipcase edition that they've had forever of Calvin and Hobbes. But uh, we have a whole bunch of those old school Calvin and Hobbes trade paperbacks. So my daughter has been tearing through those and rereading them and rereading them. Finally had to take them away because that's all she would read, and we needed to read her, have her read some other stuff too. So <laughs> she was not pleased, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, she'll get him back one of these days soon. But hey, I'm very excited. And it's cool you can see how much the art changes. Like, it's, I mean, there's detail in that, but you, then you switch to this side and you can just see the smoke and like all the feathers and here. I mean, that has some stuff, but you can kind of see it's a lot more blocky. And then as it gets later on, it gets way more detailed and there's way, there's just way more in each page, which is pretty cool to see that art progression too. of Carl Barks in there. So, uh, and then, you know, to close it out, you got one last thing on that story and then boom, just the editorial staff, uh, editor David Gerstein and Justin Allen Spencer is the designer. 
uh, from Fantagraphics. These guys did awesome. I gotta, gotta hand it to them. Looks so good. Great presentation. Uh, I actually think I like this scale book better than the Life and Times of Scrooge because that book is so huge. It's a wee bit unwieldy. But yeah, this book, phenomenal book. And you know, at you know, what is it? Under a hundred under $100 at OPB, definitely an easy buy as a holiday gift or a birthday gift for that nostalgia looking uh, friend or family of yours or yourself who loves these old school tunes. All right, so that was a quick look at Carl Barks's Uncle Scrooge Diamond Jubilee Edition, celebrating that 75 years. So cool. Been loving all these editions by Fanagraphics that they're doing all these characters uh, and all of these uh, old school comics that I grew up with. Such a cool nostalgia trip. So cool that now I can share these characters that I love with my kids in these gorgeous collected editions. If you are looking for a book like this, make sure to hit up Organic Price Books. And if you want, you can use code OmniBuddy for two bucks off for every order. I appreciate it. it. Supports my channel over there. And if you're interested in finding out more about my channel and all my overviews and unboxings and uh, discussions and all that, hit up OmniBuddy on YouTube and Instagram and all the social media. Uh, I pretty much answer every comment. Love talking with you all, but that's it. Take care, stay cool, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. All right, see you later.